David Spark reporting for Speak with a Geek. I am here at the 3D Web Fest in San Francisco. Do you know what the 3D Web is? Have you experienced the 3D Web? Have you immersed yourself in the 3D Web? Do you care about the 3D Web? Why should you care about the 3D Web? So many questions. I asked a bunch of geeks and got some answers. What was wrong with the 2D Web? Why do we need a 3D Web? For the same reason that we no longer use chisels and stone. Why do we need anything? It's fun. It's just, it's just cooler. 2D just won't cut it. Do we have 2D brains? Well, the 2D web is disconnected from reality. Three dimension is the real world. You got to bring that to the web. 3D web tech can offer a lot of different kinds of user experiences, especially like getting us away from keyboard and mouse. What's wrong with the 2D web? Why do we need a 3D web? Well, you can almost reach in to the 3D web. You want to figure out how to hang some ductwork above our head here? You better be looking at it in 3D. Boy, wouldn't it be great if you could go inside the door, if I could go and see you know, how big the shower is, if I could go out on the patio and make sure I can fit a chair there. Human beings think in 3D, we interact in 3D, we move around in 3D. And so if we can bring that kind of experience to the web, we're going to be able to communicate better and understand each other better. When we move things into 3D, it triggers a much more developed parts of our brain than a 2D type of information. Right now, the web is really good at articulately conveying a specific type of information. However, there are so many different types of intelligence and information that it can't accurately convey, specifically emotion. Is it just cool? Is that the only reason you like it? I think that's where I'm at right now, yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with the 2D web? Why do we need a 3D web? I like the 1D web myself. What's a 1D web? It's a single point. <laughs>